that you probably can't even see it. But I'm here to declare to you today that God has set you up for a miracle. God has set you up with a special plan, a special promise that you're going to be like, God, wow. He's guaranteed it. That he will do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you can ever ask or think. A lot of times uh, when, 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 when we pour water into a glass and if it happens to spill over, we call it a mess. But God calls that a blessing. God says that I want to bless you into overflowing. That is a blessing. When God said that he wants to bless you into overflowing, you have to believe it. You have to receive it. You got to grab it and say, God, I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. Bless me right now, God. Bless me. You have to have that kind of faith, hope, trust, and believe. Belief. So he said, brother, I wish above all things, beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers. Now, be in good health. I know that, you know, COVID, and now they're talking about some monkey pox. I have no idea what's going on with that, but, you know, uh, <laughs> but God said that I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in good health. See, the enemy will try to use any and every tactic to try to get you distracted. The enemy will try anything to try to get you off your course of action. And so he does certain things. He tries to do certain things to your body or make you feel like there's certain things wrong with you or certain things, you know, that maybe you have been born with in certain conditions, you know, like sickle cell and many other things. But God made a guarantee. He made a promise. He said, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in good health. Listen, I'm telling you right now that you have to have faith, trust, and believe that COVID shall come nigh your dwelling place. That sickness and disease don't come nigh your dwelling place. That that heartache and heartbreak. Matter of fact, my wife was just telling me about a young man who just, just I guess a, a, a few months ago, had a stroke. Let me tell you something. Stress will kill you. So I remember when I was in Bible college and I was so stressed out. I was, I mean, stressed out to the point where I literally felt my mind. I literally felt my brain was about to break. It was about to burst. And so then I, I, I began, I'm in Bible college. And I remember going back to the dorm and I remember uh, calming myself down uh, I, I've, I've never had a panic attack before, but the, I, I'm guessing that's what it almost kind of felt like. It almost felt like that I was getting ready to experience a panic attack. And God spoke to me after I calmed myself down and after I began to look over a few things and, uh, and just began to pray. God said to me, Shannon, if you keep stressing the way that you're stressing stress will kill you and i said whoa whoa he said stress will kill you <clears throat> do not allow the pressures of this i, I hope you're listening to me i don't want the pressures of this world, the pressures of life. I don't care how the enemy is coming in to hurt you. I don't care how the enemy is coming in to attack you. I'm here to tell you, beloved, don't allow stress to kill you. Don't allow stress to take you out. Don't allow it to do it to you. 
God has made us a promise that he's going to take care of every situation and every circumstance. And right now, I want you to believe that God is going to be able to handle every situation and circumstance. Believe God. Remember that scripture earlier I said in um, Hebrews 11 verse 6, it says, Without faith, it is impossible to please God. If you don't have faith, if you don't have the faith for God to be able to um, heal you, to set you free, to deliver you, do you know that you're not pleasing God? You got to have faith for it. And on today, we're talking about the healer. Jesus Christ, he is the he, he is a healer. He guarantees us healing every single day. So, Father God, I thank you, God, for those people who are listening and tuning in right now. That Father God, that if they're believing you for a healing right now, that Father God, that you will send healing their way. Father God, for every single person that needs healing in their body, I want them, Father God, send this message, send this broadcast out to them and let them know that I, I need a healing. If they know someone who needs a healing in their body, that today I'm speaking faith that healing shall come about right now in the name of Jesus. The Bible says this, in James 5, 14 and 15, it says this, Is there any sick among you? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. In the prayer offered in faith, wow, we're still talking about faith here. When I was putting this message together, I didn't even see how many faith scriptures there was. He said, and let the, pr let the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. God has given us another, this is another guarantee here. Jesus is the healer. God, he is the healer. Watch this, everyone. Is it that's why that's why I said listen if you're watching right if you're watching me live right now and you know that there's somebody that needs a healing the anointing and the, the anointing and everything that's on my life right now for healing for being set free is on me right now and I'm calling I'm making a clarion call right now to get that person on that live and if they need to come into the zoom i will send you the zoom link to come into the zoom and i want to be able to pray for them because god said that he's doing something he's guaranteed he's making out he's giving out guarantees of healing right now in the name of jesus he said if, if is there any sick among you let them call upon the elders of the church to pray. I'm an elder of the church. Minister Henry is an elder of the church. My wife is an elder of the church. Call upon the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord and the prayer offered in faith. I really believe that a lot of times the reason why people don't get their healing or don't get their total healing because healing does happen in stages. Some healings happen miraculously and instantaneously. Some miracles, they do take time to build. But some people, they receive a miracle or don't receive the miracle because faith isn't applied. I'm here to tell you that I'm pouring faith into you right now so that when you pray for your loved ones, when you pray for people who are sick, maybe bedridden, that may, may, may not can walk, that through the prayer of faith, that they shall be healed, that they shall 
recover. He said, and the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If you have sinned, they will be forgiven. Jeremiah 30 and 17 says, but I will restore you to health. Here's another promise. Here's another guarantee of healing. But I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. Jeremiah 33 and 6 says, Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. How many people need health and healing to come about in your life in the name of Jesus Christ? How many people, how many of you need health, healing to come about in your life? Jeremiah 33 and 6, nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. I will, will is a promise. I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. My brothers and my sisters, I hope that you're really grabbing this today because God is saying that he is a healer. He's the healer. He's the God that heals you. He's the God that sets you free. He's the God that will deliver you. Only thing you have to do is have faith, trust, and believe. I, I, I'm going to go back to a story in the Bible in Matthew 5. I'm sorry, not Matthew 5, Matthew, Matthew 8. Matthew chapter 8. I'm actually going to pull out my handy dandy Bible. <laughs> the, the Living Legacy Bible from, uh, uh, from, from my spiritual father, uh, Pastor Rob Parsley. I'm going to do it in a couple of different... Let's see, trans, well, I have the New Living Translation. Is this the New Living Translation? This is the Modern English Version. So let's hear how the Modern English Version of the Bible says. Matthew chapter 8. I'm going to start at verse 5. I'm going to read through 10. And it says, And when Jesus entered Campania, a centurion, which a centurion is a Roman soldier, who number one, shouldn't even believe what he's believing when it comes down to Jesus Christ. Anyway, but that's new, that we're not even gonna talk about that right now. And when Jesus entered Capernaum, a certain, a centurion came to him uh, uh, entreating him and saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home sick with uh, paralysis um, terribly tormented and Jesus said to him Jesus was moved with compassion first of all a Roman soldier is coming to him and was like yo Jesus I have someone that needs to, to be healed Jesus said I will come and heal him the satirity answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but speak the word only. <laughs> my God from Zion. He said, speak the word only and my servant will be healed. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this man, go. And he goes. And if I say to another, come here, he comes. And to my servant, do this and do that. He'll go do this and he'll go do that. And verse 10 says, when Jesus heard it, he was amazed. And said to those who followed, truly, I say to you, I have not found such great faith. But 
do I not need to say more? Do I not need to say more about this subject of faith? There's people out there that needs healing. There's people out there that needs deliverance. There's people out there that honestly, they need a touch from God. But right here, we have a Roman soldier who, who, who comes, not on just a Roman soldier, the, the New Living Translation says that he's a Roman officer. Means that he is in a position of authority. And because he's in a position of authority, he knows and he understands authority. Man, I really wish I had time to talk a little bit about spiritual authority because, because the Roman soldier uh, he understood authority because he was a person in authority. He understood Jesus authority. And he understood that if Jesus will only speak the word that, 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 the, that his servant, the per, his, his master, the person that he's serving will be made whole. He just knew it. And so what ended up happening is that Jesus turned around and looked at everybody and said, whoa, 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 whoa. The, the God of the universe, Jesus Christ, who knows absolutely everything, he knows absolutely everything before you can even say it. He turned in amazement, said, I can't believe this faith that this Roman soldier is displaying right now. And so, uh, uh, because he understood that Jesus didn't have to go all the way to his house, but if only he would speak the word, you have to understand that God only has to be able to speak the word. I feel a little preachy right now. God only has to speak the word and he will perform it. And so on today, I'm here to encourage you on today that number one, that God is a healer. And that number two, that if you believe in his word, that God is going to perform every single thing that he said that he's going to do. The Roman soldier said, only thing you have to do is speak the word only. And so I'm here to encourage you, my child of God, that all you have to do is have faith and begin to speak the word. Begin to speak healing over your life. Begin to speak healing over your family's life. Begin to speak healing over that person that you know that you want God to be able to do it. And when you begin to speak the word and we and we begin to believe in the word of God, God will move with compassion. God may be amazed at your compassion and be able to say, listen, I'm going to speak the word and that person is going to be healed. Watch this now. Jesus said, I tell you the truth, I haven't seen faith like this in all of Israel. And I go down to verse 13. It says, then Jesus said to the centurion, go your way. And as you have believed, so let it have been done for you. I'm here to tell you today that God is about to do some great things for you in your life. I'm here to tell you that God is about to do some wonderful things for you and your family. I don't know what you may be facing on today, but God is about to do some great stuff for you. I want you to believe it and I want you to receive that God is about to do some great things for you and your family. He said, go your way and allow him to know that he is about to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that he could ever ask or think. He told the Roman soldier, go ahead and go home. And the Bible says when the Roman soldier got home, that the servant was healed. <laughs> Glory to God. I'm here right now to encourage you on today that God, he is a healer. 
that God, he is a deliverer. That God is ready to take up every single burden that you may have in your life. And I'm here to encourage you, my brother and my sister on today. Just go ahead and have faith. Have faith, trust, and believe that God is going to do some great things for you in your life. Come on, I need you to put in the comments right now that God, he is a healer, and he's healing me right now. Come on, say that, say that. Believe it in your heart and confess with your mouth that God is healing you right now. I don't know what you're facing right now, but God is healing you right now. He's healing your heart. He's healing your mind. He's healing your spirit. And he's doing it right now in the name of Jesus. Why should you worry and why should you fret? If you already know that God has never failed you yet, you have the victory in Jesus Christ. And I want you to know, have faith, trust, and believe and knowing that God is going to do some great things for you in your life. Hannah prayed for a child, and I'm here to tell you that Hannah had a guarantee, and God is about to give you a guarantee right now in the name of Jesus. So come on and lift your hands, come on and lift your hearts, and I want you to believe right now that God is going to do some great things for you in your life. Hallelujah and glory to your name, God. You are so wonderful, God. We thank you, God, for doing great things. You're doing great exploits for us right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, we believe you to be a healer. We believe you to be a comforter, oh God. Father God, for that person right now that feels like that, they, that you left them, oh God, Father God, I want them to feel right now and know, God, that you're the God that shall never leave, nor shall you never forsake, God. Thank you, God, for being with my brother and my sister right now in the name of Jesus. Satan, take your hands off of the minds of your people right now, telling them not to believe in this healing, not to believe in this deliverance, not to believe and what God has called them to have. Father God, I thank you, God, that right now we have people of faith that's listening to me right now, God, that right now in the name of Jesus, that you're going to do it for them. You've given them a guarantee, God. So I thank you, Lord, and I praise you, God, for doing great things in the midst of us, oh God. Hallelujah and glory to your name. Father God, if you was able to heal me when I felt like that I had a broken heart, God, Father God, I know that you can send healing to my brothers and my sisters right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. When the wicked of my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat of my flesh, they stumbled and they fell, and a host shall encamp against me, my heart shall not fear, though war rise against me. In this word shall I be comforted, O God. One thing have I desired of you, God, and that that I will seek after. I will dwell in your house forever. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for doing great things for us in our life, O God. Thank you, God, for doing it. Thank you, God, because you said that you're going to restore. Thank you, God, that you promised that you was going to do every single thing that you said you're going to do for us, God. Thank you, God, I have no doubts. Thank you, God, I have no worries. Listen, let me give you some healing scriptures really quick before we leave. Matthew 8 and 16 says, when, when evening came, they brought to him many who were demon-possessed and cast out the spirit of the word of the word and healed there we go all who were ill jesus did it jesus is the healer jesus but jesus and matthew 12 and 15 but jesus aware of this withdrew from there many followed him and he healed them all jesus he is a healer matthew 14 to 14 when he went ashore, 
he saw a large crowd and felt compassion for them and healed their sick. Jesus is a healer. Matthew 14, 36, and they implored him that they might just touch the fringe of his cloak and they may touch it and they were cured. Again, Jesus is a healer. Matthew 15 and 13, the large crowd came to him, bringing with them those who were lame, crippled, blind, mute, and many others, and they laid him down at his feet, and he healed him again. Jesus is a healer. Matthew 14 and Matthew 21 and 14, and the blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he healed them. Jesus is still a healer. Luke 4 and 40, when the sun was setting, all those who had any that were sick with various diseases brought them to him, and laying his hands on them, one of them, he was, and he was healing them. Again, Jesus is a healer. Hallelujah. Luke 5 and 17, one day he was teaching, and there were some Pharisees and teachers of the law sitting there, who they came every village in Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem and the power of the Lord was present for them to perform healing again Jesus is a healer but the crowds were aware of this and followed him and welcoming him he began speaking to them about the kingdom of God and caring those who were needed to be healed that was Luke 9 and 11 again Jesus is a healer Matthew 9 and 35, Jesus was going through all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and healing every kind of disease and every kind of sickness. Again, Jesus is a healer. Matthew 11 and 2, the large crowds followed him and he healed them right then and there. Listen, if y'all don't believe that Jesus is a healer right now, all these scriptures, I'm telling you, you need to apply your faith and believe that Jesus is a healer. Mark 3 and 10, for he had healed many with the results that all those who had, uh, had afflictions pressed around him in order to touch him. Again, Jesus is a healer. Mark 6 and 56, Wherever he entered villages or cities or countrysides, they were lying sick in the marketplace and imploring him, and they might just touch the fringe of his coat. And many of them touched him, and he was, and they had been cured. Jesus is a healer. Listen, you can continue all the way throughout the Bible, where it shows where Jesus was healing, just like the woman with the issue of blood. Jesus is a healer. He just touched the hem of the garment. So even if the elders of the church can't come by and pray and lay hands, listen, just apply the faith, trust, hope, and believe, just like the satirian soldier, and allow the man and woman of God to speak the word, and they shall be healed. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your healing power, God. We thank you, Lord, for everything that you have done and everything that you're saying to us right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for being a healer we thank you God for being a deliverer we thank you God for just doing great among us oh God we thank you Lord for doing exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ever ask or think oh God we thank you Lord for doing great things in the midst of us oh God Father God, you are wonderful and you're worthy to be praised. Oh, come on, right there, right where you are. We just want to be able to give God some praise. We thank you, Lord, for my wife who actually just able to come on in right now. We give God glory and honor to the international prophetess. 
prophetess Nidetri Young. Thank you so much, honey. I know that you guys probably are just ending service. And thank you so much for coming in. Hallelujah. Hey, listen, I'm actually just now finishing uh, my message on today that God, he is a healer. Listen, God guarantees us to heal our bodies. God guarantees us that if we speak the word and that he shall perform it. Only thing we have to do is have faith, trust, and believe. Hallelujah. Well, listen, we're getting ready to do just a few announcements. Before I do that, I just want to see if my wife had anything to say at this time. Oh, my goodness. God bless everybody. I'm sorry. When I tell you we had a time here at Apostolic Dominion here what? in Fairfax. South Carolina, I am so grateful to God to be able to be a part of the move of God yes. here at the church. It was amazing. I praise God for each and every person um, that I came in contact with. When I tell you, Apostle Matthew Eady and Overseer the Shea Eady, um, amazing people, amazing, amazing people. I'm standing outside of the church. Um, because everybody is um, still in the inside. We're still celebrating. It yeah. was complication and ordination. And we had so much fun. I'm telling you, we've had four days of praise and worship. Uh, uh, four, uh, four days of just impacting and, and impartation. It has been a blessing. And I'm just so grateful to God for the opportunity. Listen, I want y'all to stay close and stay connected to One Touch Ministry. We want to thank everyone for joining in today. We want to thank everybody that came in and they had an opportunity to spend time and worship and, and hear the word of God coming from our pastor, Pastor Shannon E. Young. Listen, I am so excited. I praise God because God is allowing me to come into different territories and help churches claim their their spot in 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 the kingdom and i yeah. praise god for the opportunity i praise god because they don't call you the inner they don't call me the international prophetess for nothing i oh. can't sit at home and bop 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 all day long no i gotta <laughs> i gotta get up off my hind parts and i yeah. gotta go go bop bop somewhere else and i gotta help somebody Yes. So listen, I'm going to tell y'all something. Go make sure you help somebody, love on somebody, uh, uh, and send a encouraging word to somebody. Tell somebody that God is still real. He's still blessing. He's still making ways out of no way. Yes, I know Pastor is. Shannon preached an awesome word. He guaranteed, I'm telling you, I don't know about you, but he's guaranteed to save you. He's guaranteed to heal you. He's guaranteed yes. to deliver you. He's guaranteed to set you free. Listen, yes. enjoy your day in Jesus Christ's name. Amen, Pastor Shannon. My husband, my lover, I love you so much, honey. I can't wait to come home to see you. <laughs> God bless everybody. Bye bye. All right. Well, God bless everyone. Thank you so much. Listen, we're going to do just a few announcements really quick, and then we're going to get on out of here today. Hallelujah. So, listen, make sure that you join us every single day. Sunday afternoon at 3 o'clock p.m. The address is 895 Fox Valley Drive and Suite 101 in Longwood, Florida. And you can also call us here at the office at the 407-743-5441. Let's see, is my announcement going to slide here? Okay, I guess I had to pick it right here. Oh, there we go. It's moving a little slow for me. All right, here we go. So upcoming events. Listen, mark your calendars. Uh, so and so for the month of August, our Empowerment Night, as well as our um, Saturday Night Live, um, there's going to be canceled for this month. Usually every year, I take a sabbatical on um, on Sun on um, for the month of August because the month of August is my birthday. And so we usually take the month off and get a chance to celebrate things of that nature. So I don't know if prophets have anything lined up. But only thing I know is, listen, we're taking a sabbatical. Uh, so we're going to be doing that for the month of August. So no empowerment night, no Saturday night live. And listen, uh, and then I know that um, prophetess Nidetra is still going to be doing the prophetic 
um, sounds on Tuesdays and Fridays. Pastor Shannon? Uh-huh. I, I, I may be doing them still. Uh, I'm not sure about this Tuesday and this Friday. I'm not sure. Um, I have to let everybody know because I also, too, want to take a sabbatical while you're taking your sabbatical. Well, listen. <laughs> listen. I, ain't wrong I mean, that. I would like to enjoy my husband just a tad bit. Listen. Okay, listen. Ain't nothing wrong with that at all. Yes, sir. So, you know, I'm not quite sure. I got to see, you know, like I said, I got to pray and I got to talk to God and see what he tells me. But also, you know, I, it's okay to take a vacation and I would like to kind of take a little break just so I can continue to hear from God and also enjoy my family as well. Amen. 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 More to come with that. Listen, this past week we did new members classes. And so listen, we want to welcome home brother Daquan Glenn L. Woo! He is now a new member of One Touch Ministries. Um, so we're going to give it up for him. Make sure you smash some hearts and some likes for him right there in the chat. We're going to be posting this a little bit later. Also, we want to welcome home Ministers Dave and Yolanda Martino. They are now officially new members of One Touch Ministries. Hallelujah. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Listen, we also want to welcome as well Pastors Jackson and Maureen Owasinga Artino. They are now members of One Touch Ministries. Listen, I know that there are um, lead pastors over there in Kenya, but I'm here to tell you that they're so excited. Um, as a matter of fact, I spoke with Pastor Ortino today, and he was like, listen, he said, Pastor, he said, you and prophetess are our spiritual parents. And let me tell you, we love you guys so much. And he sends his greetings and blessings all the way from Kenya, as well as, listen, he's no new member, but we just wanted to acknowledge him. Welcome home, Minister Henry Jackson. Listen, he is also an official member, as well as he sits on the board of directors. So he is one of the elders here at the church. And I'm here to tell you that we're so super excited about what God is doing in the midst of us in the ministry. Now, also, I don't, I want you guys to know that One Touch Ministries is presenting in now in Philadelphia and Delaware, the Prophetic Sound Revival with international prophetess Naditra Young and myself, Pastor Shannon Young. And it's going to be on November 4th and 5th. And from my understanding, we already have locked in Philadelphia. We're going to be calling in on tomorrow to lock in the Delaware location. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. More details are coming soon. And then lastly, what I want to announce is, oh yeah, you see this baby right here? Do you see this wonderful baby right here? This is Pastor Jackson and Pastor Maureen's brand new baby boy. So we're sending out a great God bless you and congratulations to Pastor Jackson and Pastor Maureen Ortino out there in Kenya, Africa. Now let me tell y'all something. I don't know if my music is too loud or not, but I got to lower down this music just a little bit. I had to receive permission from them this morning because I wanted to make sure that I'm saying this right and I'm not stepping out of boundaries. And we've been talking about this for the past few days now. But as I was talking to Pastor Jackson this morning, he said, listen, he said, you and prophetess are our spiritual parents. And we said, okay. Well, I said, okay, amen. And he said, and I just want you guys to understand that we are family now. And a lot of times with family, what they do is they name their child after the father. And so he said, since my father isn't around, and he said, you are my spiritual father, 
He said, yes, he said, we've named the baby after you. So ladies and gentlemen, I want you to welcome into the world, none other than the mighty man of God, yes, Shannon Jr. Owasinga. So I was like, wow, what? Yes, so I have, me and my wife have a God child, a God son, now in Kenya, Africa. And let me tell you something, I am so honored and so blessed that they decided to name him after me. So I'm just like, wow, I'm still in awe. So listen, we're celebrating. He was born on, oh my God, six days before my birthday. I think this past Friday? Honey, help me out here. Was that this past Friday? That, uh, yes, he was He was born um, this, uh, no, it, it was Thursday. It was Thursday? Was it Thursday? No, 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 wait a minute. It was Thursday, oh. yes. Because I, I can check the text message. I can check. The it was text. Thursday. It was Thursday. Yes, sir. Oh. You can check your text messages because um, I had gotten to Fairfax on Thursday um, afternoon. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so. So, thir when I, so Thursday yeah, we, at noon. Yeah. Thursday at noon. Yes. So let me tell you something. There are some great things that's happening here at One Touch Ministries, and we're so excited. So God bless everyone. Listen, we're going to end out right now uh, on a praise. Uh, now, if you haven't, uh, we, we've already started receiving tithes and offerings. So thank you guys so much for giving. Listen, right there on the bottom of your screen, right there on the bottom of your screen, you'll see okay. thank you in advance for investing into the kingdom of God. Ways yes, to God. give by cash app, and that's dollar sign number one touch M, or you can go to um, give a fly, download the app, type in one touch ministries Orlando, you'll see my face and our logo, and you can give that way. So, listen on today, we want to thank you guys for tuning in. Bless you, may God bless you, may God keep you, and may His face shine upon you. Thank you so much. Listen. I want you guys to give God the greatest praise you can on today. God bless you all.